sometimes a pair of ideas seem destined to cross paths. Crossover utility vehicles have been gaining traction like a boulder rolling down a mountain, while the Toyota Corolla remains one of the most popular vehicles for the last 50 freaking years. So what happens when you combine the two? You get this, the 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross. Riding on the TNGAC platform and occupying a niche that slots between the CHR and the RAV4, the Corolla Cross may not look too much like a Corolla on the outside, but it keeps the Corolla's theme of inoffensive aesthetics alive. Sure, you get a few zeitgeist-friendly cues like extra cladding around the wheel wells and some bulky fenders over each axle, but otherwise this is a clean, quiet design that families should dig. The interior, however, is damn near a carbon copy of the Corolla sedan. Whether you look at something like the dashboard as a whole or a more discreet part like the air vents, Corolla owners pretty much know what they're going to get when they sign up for the Corolla Cross. And guess what? That's not a bad thing at all. This interior is useful and functional as heck. All the controls are within easy reach, and there's plenty of physical buttons for things like the climate control or the infotainment. Storage abounds in the Corolla Cross. The second row has a 60-40 split folding bench seat, and the cargo area offers roughly 26 cubic feet of space with the seats up. While I've got you here, let's talk about one more thing I was able to prepare in this script ahead of time. Tech! The base L gets a 7-inch touchscreen running Toyota's traditional infotainment system with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa compatibility, and Sirius XM satellite radio, all standard. LE and XLE models bump that up to 8 inches and get the option for a JBL sound system. And when it comes time to charge, L models get two front USB ports, while LE and XLE upgrade that to three total in the vehicle, plus a Qi wireless charging pad. On the safety front, well, it's a Toyota, so there's plenty of it. All Corolla Cross variants come with Toyota Safety Sense 2.0, which includes automatic emergency braking, lane keep assist, and full speed adaptive cruise control. LE models add blind spot monitoring, while the XLE trim throws parking sensors and automatic rear braking into the equation. So how does the new Corolla Cross drive? I know this might shock and amaze you, but it drives like a Corolla. Surprise, surprise, that's not a bad thing either. The ride is generally pretty well composed, airing on the softer side, even with my tester's larger 19-inch alloy wheels. The ride's nice and composed, and it never really gets stiff and uncomfortable until you really hit the craggy stuff. Since the Corolla Cross is a skosh heavier than a regular Corolla sedan, the Corolla S's powertrain does have to put in a little extra legwork. Under the hood here is a 2-liter naturally aspirated inline 4, making 169 nice horsepower and 150 pound-feet of torque, and it has to use all of that to get up the inclines around Austin, Texas, where I currently am. The engine is cacophonously wailing to the heavens as it thrusts itself skyward, but in normal around town driving, there's plenty to get up and go. And the acceleration would probably be even pokier if it weren't for Toyota's direct shift CVT, which uses an actual physical first gear for low speed acceleration before getting into all the pulleys and belts and stuff of the usual CVT. And really, that low down get up and go does help get this thing around town, especially when there are, like I said, inclines. The CVT also confers the benefits of fuel economy, with front wheel drive models getting an estimated 32 mpg combined, and all wheel drive models getting an estimated 30. And, as if that's not enough, even though it is a CVT, it is still rated for 1,500 pounds of towing, without any extra equipment, on all trims. Sweet. Now, Normcore might not bring all the TikToks to the yard, but it is pretty much a recipe for sales success, and in that regard, the 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross looks like it's in the right place at the right time, taking advantage of the public's love for crossovers while also leveraging some of what has made Toyota a household name for decades. Do you want more Toyota Corolla Cross content? Do you want more content of any kind that's, I guess, related to cars? Sure, then like and subscribe so I can get out of the sun.